Hello, I'm Terry Berkowitz and I'm here at the Davis Mini Museum of Art in Barcelona and I'm very happy to be here uh, to talk about my work and to talk about a work that I've donated to the museum and that we'll be showing here soon. Um, I've been doing installation art for almost four decades. My work consists of video, audio, photography, slide projections sometimes, and whatever objects I need in order to deal with the subject matter that I'm interested in, which mainly focuses on social and political concepts. I've worked with many different kinds of topics, everything from rape to uh, people who've lost their homes for political reasons around the world, to I've also worked with people who are in crisis, uh, countries in crisis or groups of people in crisis like the Palestinians and the Sahrawis who live in refugee camps near Tindouf in Algeria. I've worked with a group of women in the Philippines who were raped by the Japanese during the Second World War and who were quite up there in age, older women, a series of portraits that I did with them and in the hopes of helping them gain uh, legal reparations from the Japanese. Uh, I've continued to do this work because I really do believe that art does change things. It doesn't change things in a dramatic way. It's not a revolution, but it does change things in a small way through consciousness raising and when art goes out into the world, it really can affect change in a more direct way. We're seeing that now because of the dire political situation we're in in many places around the world. And um, recently, I was invited to be in an exhibition that was in reaction to something that was said, or many things that were said, by the soon-to-be 45th President of the United States, whose name I don't want to mention here. And uh, this show took place at uh, White Box in New York. And as a result of being invited for the, the show, I decided to do this work that you see here, which is called Untitled Water Glass, and it was done in 2016. The work deals with the political, the fact that we're receiving so much disinformation from politicians around the world, particularly in the United States. We noted that the two parties during the recent presidential campaign were both um, creating falsehoods and really confusing people about what the real issues were. So this piece um, is has engraved words on it in the front it's, or in the back. It says half full and on the other side it says half empty. And you'll notice that the glass is completely empty. And the reason for this is that you may believe that a glass is half full if you're an optimist like I am, or you may believe that a glass is half empty like many people do. But in our reality right now, the glass is always empty. And this is because we are not being told the truth and things are being manipulated without our participation and many times without our knowledge. So this glass, is going to remain empty until the political situation changes and until the situation around the world changes for the better.